So what's the difference between weeks or years when it comes to the investigation into the IRS targeting of conservative groups? Well, a heck of a lot if you're part of the investigating team trying to get to the bottom of the scandal. The IRS commissioner claiming that process will take years, infuriating House Republicans. Lois Lerner won't talk to us. She'll talk to the Justice Department because she knows that investigation. She'll talk to the people who can put her in jail, but she won't talk to us. And, and the guy who can give us the emails won't give us the emails. Whether or not you think we need something or we ought to have it or that we're on uh, uh, a wild goose chase, frankly, I could care less what you think about that. Our subpoena is our subpoena. If you don't like it, move to quash it. When Mr. you have Chairman. a duly issued subpoena, Mr. you Chairman. comply with it. It's not optional. Congressman Jason Chavitz, who you saw there on the latter end of that, joins me now live. Congressman, you were very fired up yesterday when you found out that these emails that have been subpoenaed from the IRS, they're not going to take weeks to get into your hands. They could take years. Why? There is absolutely no excuse for it, Gretchen. What do you think, if the IRS issued a subpoena at some, to somebody in the United States, do you think they have the option of complying with it? Do you think you could say, oh, well, it's going to take me years to give you that information? No. In one sentence, under a subpoena, we ask for all the emails and a limited amount of time on Lois Lerner. You go to the email box, you see what she sent out, you see what came in, and produce that for us on a disk. And for the IRS commissioner to suggest that would take years to do is is laughable. He, is, he does no intention of complying with that subpoena, and I think we should seriously look at holding the commissioner in contempt of Congress. All right, so that's interesting because I was just going to ask you, is there any way for Congress to try to speed up the process? Would that be holding the commissioner in contempt, and at the same time, would you throw Lois Lerner into that? Hey, I, I think we ought to get some guts around here and start holding people accountable. Subpoenas are not optional in the United States of America. When you have a duly issued subpoena, you must comply with it. That is the law. The people of the United States don't have these types of options. It's not optional. Comply with the law. And the Congress is going to have to get much more serious about enforcing these, holding people in contempt, and getting these documents. We're doing a serious investigation. We have the right to have these materials. They have to be produced. So why not give of Lois Lerner immunity. We don't know what she wants immunity from. She says she's done nothing wrong. She is not off. We're not in these types of. Why should we have to negotiate this? She she goes out and she tries to plead the fifth. She leaked this information. She knows that the, the, she's at the center of this information. Why should we grant her immunity? I, I, I see no reason to do that. She may have done something that was terribly wrong. She may mm -hmm. have done nothing wrong. Okay. But come talk to Congress about it. So, so give me a timeline here, Congressman, and I only have a couple mm -hmm. of seconds, but give me a timeline. Mm -hmm. When might this contempt happen? The, the subpoena was issued on February 14th. Yesterday, on March 26th, the IRS commissioner, I think, confirmed to the United States Congress he yep. has no intention of complying with it. We should do that as soon as we possibly can.